Hi, welcome back to Paramedic Project. Today we're talking more about traumatic injuries and we're talking about a patient with chest injuries. Uh, so two take home tips as far as I'm concerned about patients with chest injuries. First of all, to remember that a chest injury is actually a thoracic injury. And uh, that the, uh, the external surface of that thoracic cavity extends right around the back. So we need to assess the back on these patients as well. It's not just the anterior chest and the, and the sides that we can get to easily. We need to assess the back in patients who've got chest injuries just to see if there's any uh, penetrating trauma on the back or any change to their anatomy or any obvious injuries. And obviously we've talked about assessing them by both looking and palpating and exposing the patient uh, respectfully. That's my first tip. Remember, the thoracic cavity uh, holds all those vital organs and we need to assess uh, all aspects of that thoracic cavity. Second tip is uh, that it's very hard when you're looking down at a patient like this to actually assess their breathing mechanics to see if uh, one side of the chest is moving uh, better than the other, see if one side's hyperinflated. The best vantage point from that is from the level of the patient down to the patient's feet. So at some stage I like to get down to the patient's level, come down to their feet and really look up the entire surface of the body from the level of the, from the, level of the toes almost. And that way we can really see whether one side of the chest is moving better than the other. We can see if one side's hyperinflated and that's obviously going to give us a really good uh, idea of the actual of the extent of the patient's injury. So then my two tips, make sure you assess the entire external surface of the thoracic cavity. Remember it's not only a chest injury but a thoracic injury. And then at some stage get that vantage point down, down the patient's feet and look up the patient's body which allows us to see the breathing mechanics much more accurately. So thanks for joining us once again and uh, we'll see you next time.